up, Pharmacy Nation? I am Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for being a listener of the Elective Rotation, a critical care and hospital pharmacy podcast. This is episode 487. In this episode, I'll discuss the difference between DKA and HHS. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 487. Diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA, and hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state, HHS, are the most serious acute complications of diabetes. These diabetic crises cause thousands of deaths annually in the U.S. DKA and HHS differ clinically according to the presence of ketoacidosis and the degree of hyperglycemia. In DKA, metabolic acidosis is often the major finding. The serum glucose is below 800 mg per deciliter, usually in the 350 to 500 range. DKA usually evolves rapidly. In HHS, there is little or no ketoacidosis and the serum glucose concentration frequently exceeds 1,000. HHS usually evolves over a period of several days. Overlap between DKA and HHS occurs in more than a third of patients. Insulin deficiency and resistance and glucagon excess are responsible for the development of DKA and HHS. The deficiency in insulin, either an absolute or a relative deficiency, is more severe in DKA compared with HHS. In HHS, the residual insulin secretion and its systemic activity minimizes the development of ketoacidosis, but it's not adequate to control hyperglycemia. In patients with absolute or relative insulin deficiency, DKA and HHS are usually precipitated by a stressor, such as infection or discontinuation of adequate insulin therapy. Members of my Hospital Pharmacy Academy have access to an in-depth training on DKA and HHS treatment in the ICU from a pharmacist's point of view. To access this and many more resources to help you in your practice, go to PharmacyJoe.com academy. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.